Oh. Hello, potato. It is now the holiday season, which means it's time for holiday meals. For example, here in the U.S., we had Thanksgiving just last week, which means uh, leftover turkey, leftover mashed potatoes. And you know what you, you need, especially with leftovers, because they, be, they can be a little dry. What you need to really zhuzh up the otherwise, eh, let's admit it, kind of boring food. You need some gravy. Now, gravy's pretty easy to buy in jars and bottles and powders. But you know what I've never seen it in? A can, a, a soda can. Specifically, up until now, we have a can of gravy by Potts. Not, not Mrs. Potts. Uh, that is, of course, the fictional character. We have Potts's caramel onion gravy made with, and this is the kicker, HP sauce. Yep, that's what, uh, I mean, gravy in a soda can got my attention to start with, but gravy in a soda can with HP sauce. I'm interested. You have my attention fully and undividedly. Now, HP sauce is not that uncommon here in the U.S. as, it, as much as it used to be. I can go to my local grocery store and buy a bottle off the shelf. I don't have to go to import stores for it. I predominantly use it when I'm making beans on toast. Uh, we also have been buying the Heinz beans. And occasionally, you know, you want a quick filling meal. Beans on toast is a, is a great one. I understand why the British have such an affinity for it. So I'm interested in, in, uh, in gravy with HP sauce. And I'm less interested. In fact, it's caramelized onion. I'm not a big onion person. But uh, I figured, you know. We're going to give it a try. It's gravy. Hopefully there won't be like big chunks of onion or anything. But there are words. Let's read the words. Rich and flavorsome caramelized onion gravy with a dash of HP sauce. Perfect for sausages as well as your favorite veggie options. Okay, well maybe I'm not using it for the most intended purpose. But I feel like it was in the store. I found this at World Market. I feel like it was in the store for Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. I don't feel like it's so much... At least they weren't carrying it so much with the intent of putting it on sausages. And in any case, the only sausages in the house are hot links, maybe some hot dogs, and uh, neither of which I think would do well with caramelized onion gravy. Instructions are simple. Heat it up. Put it in a tin. Open the tin. Put it in a pan, saucepan. Heat it. It says that you should do it in the item you roasted your meat in. And that would be great, except for, of course, we're using Thanksgiving leftovers for this video, so there is no pan that we roasted it in. So this contains about five servings, quarter cup serving, 25 calories per cup, which isn't that bad. 12% of your sodium, which is, eh, it could be worse. Produced in the UK and by Potts Partnership Limited, Rutland, Rutland House, I can read, Rutland House, Groundwell Industrial Estate, Swindon. So what do we have in here? Water, caramelized onions, HP sauce. So, yeah, interesting. Lots of other things like all the ingredients of HP sauce, for example. I don't know, I'm, I'm a little a little hesitant for the caramelized onion. But uh, you know what, let's, let's crack it open. We're, we're making food. We're gonna crack it open, see what it's like on the inside. Got a little bit of a spritz there. Can we... oh, I feel like this is going to splash. There it goes. It's starting to go. It's starting to go. It's bending. All right. It is. Ah, there we go. Well, I mean, yeah, that's gravy. Gravy with big chunks of onion floating in it. Oh, it does smell like HP sauce, though. So I do have to give it that. It does smell. I, I get the smell overpoweringly of HP sauce from it. That that is a plus. I, I've never tried HP sauce on like my mashed potatoes or my turkey, but you know I think it should be interesting. Yeah, it actually smells really good. It doesn't smell super oniony. Let's uh, let's try a little bit of it before we heat it up. Try a little bit on its own. Cold gravy, I'm sure, will be. Just lovely. Yeah, that smells really good. 
Hmm. Well, it does taste like oniony HP sauce. It's not awful, but it's not, it doesn't taste like, you know, any gravy I've ever had. It tastes like turkey gravy or chicken gravy or beef gravy or bound gravy. Bound gravy? Brown gravy. But it does taste like, like onions and HP sauce. Mm. I don't know, I'm not... It might be a little oniony, honestly. It's going to be interesting on turkey and potatoes, though. That I am certain of. So let me go heat this up, prepare myself a lovely plate of turkey and mashed potatoes, and I'll come right back here and we'll, we'll try it hot, and then we'll try it out on food. So I'll be back in a flash just as soon as the little thing goes boop on the screen. Boop. And like I said, here I am with my lovely holiday dinner. We got turkey, we got potatoes. What more do you need? Oh yes, what we're here for. You need gravy. So there is our heated up pots, caramelized onion gravy made with HP sauce. And uh, it smells pretty good. I mean, it smells like hot HP sauce, which is not a thing I've ever actually had. I've, I've only just put it on things cold. So uh, that should be, let's try it like, well, now that's hot. It's very, I don't know, gelatinous, very slimy. It's got a, if you look at the way it like, it like pulls back up, uh, whatever thickeners they're using in it, are definitely getting different than any gravy I have ever had. Because this has almost like a very thin slime texture to it. Which, I mean, may not sound appetizing, and, and no, it doesn't. But it's, uh, it's, uh, interesting. I uh, definitely give it interesting. It's not off-putting. I don't find it, like, off-putting. But yeah, it's got a very, a very, like, jelly, slime-like texture. Okay, hot HP sauce is, uh, interesting. I don't hate it. I've never heated it before. Maybe I'll have to, like, start heating it up when I put on the beans on toast. So, let's add it to our turkey and mash. Get a good dollop in there. Put some across the turkey. Like you do. Because particularly with reheated turkey, this might be a little dry. So, get a good dollop of it on there. I think I've probably used more than a serving between those two. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's try some turkey and pots caramelized onion gravy. Give it a good dunk in there and give it a try. Oh, now that is interesting. It actually, maybe it's, it's a turkey? The turkey isn't salty. It's got almost kind of a, uh, it makes the turkey a little salty in a way that the gravy on its own isn't. Mmm, maybe it's a little salty. It definitely does need the gravy, but it actually, it doesn't, it doesn't taste as strongly of HP sauce with the actual turkey on it. The turkey has enough flavor of its own, I guess, that it's, uh, it's countering some of the strong HP flavor of the gravy. It's also not overwhelmingly oniony. I was really afraid that this would be overwhelmingly oniony when I picked it up. And it's really not. It's not bad. Let's try it with some potato. Dunk in the gravy pool. Again, very, very like slimy consistency, which is weird. You know, less good on the potato. Maybe because the potato has doesn't have enough of its own flavor that it does kind of overpower. It doesn't taste like totally like HP sauce or onion, but it just it doesn't work as well on mashed potato as it does on turkey. You do, do taste more of the HP sauce of it with the potatoes and turkey, I guess, because again, turkey may just have enough stronger flavor on its own 
but it's actually not bad. It's definitely not like any gravy I've ever had before. Like I said, it's a, it doesn't taste like turkey or beef or chicken or brown. It doesn't taste like any gravy I've ever had, but it's, uh, it's not bad. It's better than I thought it would be, honestly. I had some real serious doubts about this. Mostly because of the onion, that's something that more so than the, uh, the HP sauce part of it. But uh, maybe I'll try some just some HP sauce on turkey sometime. That's actually not a bad flavor combination. Wonder how it would be without the onion. I'll try it sometime. Not today. Yeah, it combine, combines to form a really nice savory flavor. I'm surprised. I really, I really kind of thought I was gonna just end up with a with a meal here covered in stuff that I would have to eat. Because yeah, I'm not not tossing it away. But it's actually genuinely pretty good. I, I am I am pleasantly surprised by the results of this. Uh, this was definitely an interesting thing in a can that paid off for me in a way that sometimes uh sometimes these things don't. So yeah, I guess well for the rest of our Thanksgiving leftovers, I will be adding some HP gravy to it. Not sure my wife will think of it. I'll have to try it on her, see what she thinks. But it's a it is surprisingly it's got like a like a nice it's a nice savoriness to it that balances off the otherwise I mean I guess turkey does have a reasonably strong flavor, but normally you know you can sort of kind of bland on its own and maybe a little dry because it's you know it's reheated turkey at that. But it combines well with the kind of basic flavor of the turkey. Yeah, I'm going to have to try putting HP sauce on more things, I guess. Because that, that was pretty good. Well, before my meal here gets any colder, I'm going to go and finish eating it. Which means we do need to wrap this video up. I hope you found it all interesting and entertaining. That was Pots Caramelized Onion Gravy made with HP sauce. And uh, it is very different than any gravy I've had, but not at all bad. If you did enjoy this video at all, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.